Progressives on the Burlington City Council unveiling their vision for community safety today. NBC5 Sid Bule joins us now from the newsroom with what this group is calling for. Sid. Alice Bryant. A big difference between what the progressives want to see in Burlington and the priorities Mayor Moreau Weinberger announced last week is a community control board overseeing disciplinary actions in the Burlington Police Department. Burlington Progressive City Councilors say Mayor Moreau Weinberger's public safety priorities announced on January 12th fall short. All of this is really just to start a different conversation about how we create a safe community and to move us toward meaningful action. To do that, the progressive councillors have a seven-point plan, some aligning with the mayors, like asking the Vermont legislature for gun violence prevention measures and employing alternate responders at the Burlington Police Department, like community support liaisons. I know there was a progressive councillor that was basically laughed at for proposing unarmed police officer. The fact that we have 10 now um, is, a, is a huge move from that position just a couple of years back. We continue to ask too much of police officers and EMTs here in Burlington, especially with uh, rising uh, cases of uh, mental health crises and uh, overdose that we've seen in recent years. But on other points, they disagree with the mayor's plan. The progressives calling for greater transparency and community control of police. But the mayor's plan opposes creating the community control board, saying it would give exclusive authority over the police to unelected officials. The progressives see it differently. The proposal focuses on investigating discipline in disciplinary problems alone. Supervision, training, deployment, rules and regulations, host of all, all the operations are still vested in the chief. Councillor Jean Bergman says the mayor's remarks against the proposed control board go beyond simple opposition. The fear mongering is just plain wrong. Back in 2020, when progressive councillors wanted to cut the police department by 30 percent, they, the chief and I raised concerns about that, said it was a problem, said it was going to re result in an increase in crime. They accused us of fear mongering then. And we all saw what, what happened since. And the Burlington Police Officers Association says they do not support the proposed community control board either, saying they welcome earnest conversation regarding civilian oversight that is impartial and unbiased. The BPOA says the proposal is the opposite of that. As the Progressive City Councilor's seven-point vision is only a proposal at this time, they say they're welcoming community input going forward. Live in the newsroom, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.